Hi, it's Tom here from FDS, and as you can hear, the wretched seagulls are out and about again, so you'll have to put up with that background noise. Unfortunately, you can't shoot them, which is a shame because they're really annoying and they tear all the bin bags and eat everything. But there you go, they're a protected species. So, what are we testing today? Well, we're, today we're going to be looking at darts, and we're going to start off by looking at these, which are called the ACC dart. Bring them up to the camera there for you. And these are a silicon tip solid silicon tip dart and they're similar to elites in length and uh, these have just started popping up globally now they're on amazon and they're on ebay and a couple of other places and we're going to be putting those up against some gen 2 kush from popular seller u toys and uh, that's a uh, 2014 kush so they're not the latest gen 3s because i'm not going to use those for this test in order to get this test going and be fair we're going to use two tests we're going to run through a springer this is just my standard 5k eat that uh, my son has taken over this has been over the chrono so many times it's practically got one built in so we'll be using that for flywheels we'll be using this which is the ultimate rapid pistol and i've chosen this because it's got a relatively short faux barrel i know the eat doesn't have a terribly long faux but uh, it does have a faux barrel but the EAT is a janky, well-known Springer with build quality issues, so it'll be interesting to see um, whether these darts do anything for the unfortunately lacklustre performance of this blaster, and it'll be interesting to see what the foam fits like. I've never put Kush or uh, ACC darts over the Chrono before from a Springer, so I'll have to see how they do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do 30 darts first out of the Springer, because it wears the darts at the back, and then we're going to do... 30 darts out the flywheeler because it wears the darts at the front and that will then give us an idea of misfires if I end up with a load with the heads missing then obviously there'll be some repeats uh, and I'll count the percentage of head failures at the end I will also be running a quick accuracy testing rig today now you guys may or may not have seen a Bay Area Nerfs PAT testing rig which stands for practical accuracy testing and uh, PAT is kind of like a t-shirt hanger in a box now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a box and I'll put the camera inside the box. I've got a little GoPro I can stick in there. And then the camera uh, will film the number of shots entering the box through a 12 inch hole in the front. And I'll try and do that from 30 feet. If it's less, I'll measure it in a minute. And if it's less, I'll tell you what it is. But I wanna do 30 feet really, because that's kind of a practical range for Nerf. So we'll see whether um, both in the Springer and in the Flywheeler, whether they actually even fire and how well they do in accuracy testing. Um, accuracy testing is a contentious issue in my opinion at the moment. It's not really all that well sorted. We don't have a very good standard test and you require really controlled conditions to make it work. In this instance, I'm gonna be shooting both sets of darts. So my shooting, whether good or bad, will apply to both blasters equally. Now you are not testing like for like, unfortunately in this case, because the muzzle velocity of this is about 85 and the muzzle velocity of this can go up to 115. So you're gonna see the effects of um, kind of moderate Springer performance and high power flywheel performance uh, on the darts, but you are not gonna be comparing Springer versus flywheel because the two are different. I'd need a much pokier Springer to compare with that flywheeler, and I'd want a short barrel, so something like a uh, full house retaliator um, with a decent spring and a nice bolt fit um, would be competing with that. So, without further ado, let's get into the chrono test. I'm also going to run some curved mags. I've got one curved, one straight, just to see how they feed. I know a lot of people use these now, so um, you'll be able to have uh, an idea of misfire rates through curved and straight mag. So I'm going to start with the ACC dart there, and uh, we'll get those over the chrono and see what they're like. Okay, now for the uh, Gen 2 Kush, and obviously uh, one straight mag, one, or one um, curved, and we're gonna rip through that now as well. So I've changed the string on the Chrono. Right, that's the Springer test over, and I've had one head failure on the ACC darts and zero on the Kush. So we're now gonna go across uh, to this, which is, um, in case people are unaware of the spec on this, this is a tri-blade, it's running on a 40C discharge lipo pack. Um, so it's got three blade 180s, those are genuine FK um, 3240s. 
so that should be around the 110 FPS mark. This one's probably shooting a little better now because it's got a good load of uh, foam on the flywheels. I have no idea how these are going to feed through because I haven't really tested, so it'll be interesting to see whether the ACC darts actually work, and uh, let's get them over the chrono and see what happens. Now that looked like a lot of those heads were getting pulled clean off by the uh, flywheels, let's have a look. Yeah, it's tearing them a new one every time I fire it, and um, it's ripping the head off the dart each time. Right, that was 30 darts, and out of those, it registered three darts across the chrono. So, as you can see, Flywheels and ACC darts doesn't look like it's going to work. And uh, I, all I can see is just scattered foam and dart heads. Koosh, Gen 2. Those of you who doubt the ability of um, a tri-blade, this has got no tricks in it apart from standard center on wiring. You can see there I'm getting a simple single shot. There is no need to clip spam with this thing. This works exactly like a strife except I only have to tap the trigger and I get a guaranteed shot every time. Okay, the results are in of the chrono test and I'll go over those in a second on the chrono. First of all, survival rating. Koosh. These are Gen 2, not Gen 3 with the improved tip glue. These are the U-Toys ones, which I've always felt were good. This wasn't the batch with all the sloppy glue. This was a really well stuck kind of average U-Toys batch. I have had no tip failures out of those. So I've had no tip failures out of the U-Toys and um, the uh, ACC darts really did not like that flywheel setup. So now it's the ACC darts. 22 of them are still left alive, 8 have been torn apart by the flywheels and I only got 3 chrono readings out of that entire shoot of 30 darts. So you can see there the misfire rate on these with flywheels is pretty bad. There's no faux barrel in there, it's to do with the tip shape, um, it's a very bullety, very very solid silicon tip and it just doesn't compress as it goes through the flywheels and clearly those flywheels are just going to rip the heads off and not actually shoot them. So Springer players, you can be smug bastards now and you can fire these at all the flywheelers and they can't shoot them back at you. So there's a plus point for the ACC dart. Um, these are similar-ish weights. The ACC dart is just a little heavier um, than the Koosh, but not by much. And the tip mass is about 78 versus 76, um, if my calculations are correct. So we're going to go straight into the um, accuracy test and the way that will work is I will have a, a foot-wide circle in the box and then I'm going to shoot at the box and um, from as far away as I can manage across my yard and I try and get it for 30 feet and um, if not it'll be around the 20 foot mark but I'll try for 30 and we'll see where we go from there and obviously I'll tell you what that is and then we'll count up at the end how many are alive and that should give us some... Okay we're going to review the results uh, for the ACC dart 5k GEAT high 85 low 60 average of 78 Extreme spread of 25. Right now we're going to look at uh, 5kg EAT running Gen 2 Koosh 2014 from U Toys and there's a blue. High 90 feet per second, low of 73, average of 85, extreme spread of 17, and standard deviation of 3%. Okay, and now we're going to look at the um, shots from the Tri Blade Rapid Pistol and this is using the ACC Dart and I didn't get very many readings, so we've got a high of 109, low of 37, average of 83, extreme spread of 72, standard deviation of 28. So you can see that's a very statistically bad sample. Okay, so here we have a um, better set of data this time. This is the U-Toys Koosh 2014 and the Tri-Blade Rapid Pistol. So we've got a high of 120 feet per second, low of 105, average of 114 feet per second, an extreme spread of 15, and a standard deviation of 3. Now that is very consistent, just what you'd expect from a high torque, properly set up rapid pistol. 